<laughs> Hello and welcome to It's Always Sunny in Hell, a It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia fan podcast slash conspiracy theory. Yes. Um, my name is Jacob Rewind. My name is uh, Ace Man, always known as uh, Benson. And... <laughs> It's always awkward introducing um, yourself, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's like, uh, it's like if I, if only I could reach to the screen, look in the viewer's eyes, give them a firm handshake, <laughs> and then they could really like know me, you know? That's yeah, what right. It's all about. It's all about. We like, you know, the <laughs> and the always sunny references have begun. Remember when they met Brian Cranston and uh, Malcolm or Mister <laughs> Mister Malcolm? Remember when they met those two on the plane and they just wanted to give him a handshake and uh, and oh. Brian Cranston was like, yeah, I guess I could give them a handshake. And they were like, no, don't give him a handshake. And he was like, I want to shake their hand because <laughs> it's all about a firm handshake. Yes. Anyway, this is a podcast where uh, us, Jacob Rewind and Ace Man, uh, Hello. we discuss episodes of the always sunny in Philadelphia show. And we have a interesting little, little theory that oh, yeah. at some point in the show, specifically in season two, episode one, today's talking point at the end of the episode, when Mac and Dennis hit everyone and they all go to the hospital, that is the start. And that is when they die and go to hell. And the rest of the show is them in hell Except yep. for one th one episode in particular that Jacob has a theory about. <laughs> we will get into that in a future oh, episode. They go to different realms <laughs> and traverse different <laughs> places and all that because it's all a production. But my main idea is that, like, if you listen, if you pull this podcast up, if you look at, if you rewatch one scene from the show, in an attempt to recontextualize the whole show, it would be, my request would be for it to be the ending minutes of season two, episode one, Charlie Gets Crippled, where they get into a car collision, it cuts to black, and we fade up on the hospital. It, 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 that, to me, is the key moment. They're all in the same place, they're all in the same accident, and I think that that event, something happens in that event where they are all brought down to hell and the rest of the show is them living out their punishments in hell. Yeah. Now, yeah. since that we are talking about this episode and this is the, uh, like most of this episode, our belief is that it's just in the real world. So we're just going to be True, like yes, talking yes. about the episode just normally, I think, for a bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's such a good episode. It's such a good Kickstarter really to season two. And I mm -hmm. also I want to mention, we are doing this a little bit out of order. We're just going to be randomly going through episodes. It's not going to be structured. Yep. We're just going to be randomly picking things. Or sometimes we'll probably do a like uh, a wheel or a random number generator for the episode. So don't expect any consistency. But yeah, Do not expect consistency <laughs> or patterns unless yeah. – we find some way to communicate a hidden message through the episode numbers and the order we're watching them. Don't look for that because it isn't there <laughs> yet. Anyways. Yeah. But, um, man, it's such a good way to kick off, kick, kick off season two, especially the introduction of Frank Reynolds yeah, is really good. It's because it's, like, it's a weird concept, this show that has begun and we're not adding a new side like 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 it's it, it is a weird concept like a sh here's the show we've done a season but also forget all that we're adding a new main character yeah. to the show he's not a side character he's not a what what do you call Wilson from Home Improvement fence peeker what's the oh, name of that type of character a supporting role Support. I uh, a guest guest star. Oh, guest, guest star. Uh, guest, that's also not Wilson. Wilson's like a regular part of the show, um, from what I understand. I've never watched an episode of Home Improvement. I've never <laughs> seen people play the video game where he fights dinosaurs or something. And in it, anyways, we're, uh, not we're not we're not here to talk about Tim. 
I just I pointed at the camera. All my all my home improvement heads are gonna like that funny reference. <laughs> yes, we do love when all the fuck. His name's Buzz Lightyear. What's his last name? Tim. Tim Allen. Allen. I was gonna say Curry, but I knew that was wrong, so I didn't. <laughs> Kevin McAllister has checked into my hotel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, um, yeah. w- while we were watching, I scribbled a total of six notes. Yeah. The first thing I'd like to visit is Charlie's apartment. So crazy yes. how Charlie's apartment, the set, has evolved over the course of the show. Season one it being a literal, like, one of the doors is painted onto a wall. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. But in this episode, me and Ace Man sort of synced up and noticed the same thing at the same time, is that on Charlie's wall, he has hanging a frisbee, a blue <laughs> frisbee with a star on it, on his wall. Yeah. And Ace Man pointed it out. I, I, I literally wrote it down. Well, I didn't write it down. I didn't write it down until Ace Man pointed it out, but I clocked it, and then Ace Man pointed it out. And I posited the theory that that's Charlie's only plate, which I think you can easily disprove, because if I'm, if I'm recalling Charlie's little setup correctly... Definitely later, maybe here too. He's definitely got like a hot plate on a cart of some sort with yeah. like maybe some plates and stuff underneath it. But when I saw the frisbee, I was very much thinking of the uh, Parks and Rec episode <laughs> where Ben gets uh, Chris Pratt and um, uh, Julie Powers to um, get cutlery and dishes because their only plate is a frisbee that they use to eat off of. <laughs> That is, so, yeah. it is, it is a very Charlie thing to do, though, is to have very like Charlie Kelly one coded. plate yes! hanged yes! on a wall, yes! yes, and then like pull it down and then eat and then put it right back up. Yeah. Also, yeah. that made me happy is that it's episode one and I slipped Charlie Kelly coded in there. And even <laughs> That's a phrase that I discovered in one of our other discussions of this show that I just very it like just say it out loud. When you're alone, or when you notice it in in, in in your life, Charlie Kelly coded. It's 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 it's, it's quite nice. Yeah, it's pleasant. But oh, this a lot of there's a lot of really good things about this. A lot of really good line deliveries. Like, oh yeah. Whenever Charlie like wheels in, and he's like, "Hello, oh, uh, war hero, war hero guys, I'm a oh, war, war hero. hero," and then he hero. sees Frank he's getting all he has all the bitches. <laughs> And then he's like, no, no. Like he just says no a million times. Yeah. Well, no. And what is it? It doesn't, it, it, it Come rises Frank. in pitch. It, <laughs> Frank. Come here, Come over here. It rises in pitch and intensity. It's because yeah. um, that's what it is. It's like the first one is no. And then it goes, no, <laughs> no. No! No! <laughs> it rises. It builds. Yeah. It's, it's, be- it's a beautiful thing. We've also got from Charlie another great delivery that um, is just fantastic when the stripper asks him what happens and he says, uh, uh, Viet goddamn noms, what happened? Go get me Viet- a beer, bit. <laughs> Viet goddamn noms, what happened? <laughs> Go get me a beer, bitch! <laughs> and then is immediately wheeled into the corner by Frank. God. Yeah. Frank is such a... Like, obviously, he's a new character. but mm-hmm. And, like, this episode is a bit of a mess, but it's kind of a... F- it's a really fun mess. Because, like, I feel like it's, like, one of the things where they were like, oh, well, we have a fifth member now. And yeah. that ruins or that doesn't ruin but it, it changes like the balance of the show because now there has yeah. to be three people in an a plot and two people in a b plot or one person has to swap places a, a lot or like mm-hmm. there's like two people in a plot two people in a uh b plot and then one person in their own c plot that kind of is in the background right because like that happens with d a lot where she's her like her own yeah. stuff is in the background 
Um, so like in this, it, it's like, yeah, it's definitely interesting, and it, it 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 it's got like this episode has a lot of heavy lifting to do. Yeah, it's like the C plot is almost the beginning, in the fact that it's like there's this. It's like it, it's weird. There's this C like the C plot, and you can like add this or correct me if I'm wrong because I'm taking a shot here. But it's almost like the C plot is like, hey our dad is back in town mm. and there's the scene of them in the hospital. Uh, like the first time they go to the hospital when Charlie does get crippled, where he's just like, uh, your mom is dead. Eh, we're getting a divorce. <laughs> and that, and, and that like, and that's almost like a C plot slash inciting incident because like Dennis and D hear that. And go into B plot mode of we need to get our shit back, and there's this whole thing that happens <laughs> there. And then the A plot is like, hey, your kids don't want to hang out with you. Wanna come to the strip club with us? These yeah. two strangers that you've never met. And then, um, and then when we go there, I'm glad we hit this. This is another one of my notes. Um, we've got some Frank Reynolds facts where he says to Charlie and Mac, I don't know. I've been manically depressed for the past few years, and I think I need a major change, or I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> and like, just bars from our man Frank Reynolds. Flash right forward to him trying to hang himself, and it doesn't take. <laughs> <laughs> How you cheering me? How you cheering me? <laughs> That's a good fucking. Oh god damn it! I'm excited Shit. for that episode. That's oh, gonna good, yeah. solidify a well, lot yeah. of the theory. Well, yeah. Well, I'm glad you brought as you've introduced that. So let's let's like like we are just hopping a all over yeah, the places. Yeah. That from this moment onwards, I think they're in hell. Just you bringing up that moment, Frank trying to hang himself. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> Major discovery. Yeah. None of these people can die. That's something that happens throughout the entirety of the show. A lot yeah. of the time, t some of them are in like near fatal or terrible accidents where like you could quite easily perish. Frank tries to hang himself, but you can't. He can't die. Yeah. He's in hell. Charlie is drinking paint. That's a canon mm -hmm. event. That <laughs> happens multiple times. Yeah. Um, yeah, he loves it. He loves the stuff. Fucking. Just, yeah, let's just let this... think how else could all these people die? Uh, D falls off a ladder onto a conveyor belt, onto the floor, into a shell. <laughs> Mac literally drives D's car into a wall and doesn't yeah. die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, this is a like, what else? What else? Is um, they drop in the gang, misses the boat. Dennis tries to drive them all into an early watery grave <laughs> in the Range Rover, an amphibious oh, exploring yeah. vehicle. There's also oh, fucking, fuck. and this will be a big one to talk about when we get to it. The gang goes to hell where like it looks yeah. like they have that we, that that one will be like its own thing yeah we'll that's, get there pretty that's a two-parter like, also that that's, that's yeah it's, fucking... it, it's a two-parter from it'll be a two-parter yeah. on our end and their end because like it's uh that's a biggie and uh they set d on fire once or twice yeah 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 <laughs> oh um, fuck. you pointed something out um when and maybe hmm i don't know but there's a there was an interesting moment it's a good bit where um frank and charlie frank wants to move in with charlie and uh charlie's trying to negotiate his rent and uh frank offers i'll pay your rent for six months <laughs> 12 months yeah and they go back and forth but frank does say six 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 but does he say six. only six six six, or is it six 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 and then four? Let's I think run it it's back. four Let's times. Quickly I run do it back. Believe it's four times. Let's run it back. Yeah, I'll check. Hey, rent for six months. Twelve, six, 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 oh. four. Okay. One too many. Yeah. Damn. Can I hit you with unless some wacky? Unless if that's a. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get into ultra conspiracy theorist mode. <laughs> no, that's what this is for. Yeah, are you about to? Are you about to propose the super devil? No, 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 no. Or no, what? No. It, where? Well, where are you at? Where I you just, at? I just think it's funny, like those YouTube comments where it's like, well, he's actually saying season six, episode six, at six minutes and six seconds. 
<laughs> it's like, a, <laughs> and now you're gonna bring it up. <laughs> yeah, now we, well, we have to bring it up. Yeah, he's what is Max mom burns her house down at six minutes and six seconds. What? Six minutes and six seconds. It's Frank trying to gaslight D into depending on him. <laughs> Nothing too interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he does say I'm gonna be quiet as a mouse. And that is not how he lives his life. That was a bit of a crackhead theory. Yeah, but that's what we're here for. We're here for something crazy crackhead mode. We're, we're here for something yeah. crazy crackhead mode. So speaking of that, um, I'd like to say I'd like to say something. If you watch that scene, what we have just consumed, because like um, we, uh, where where I propose that all of them die and they wake up in hell, I think it's not instant. Mm. I think, and and this is something that we're probably going to be talking about for a while. What happens in the in between? Yeah, in the passing between the realms. Here is something I'd like to float out there that might become um, major. It because like you could argue that Frank Reynolds has a pretty nice life, right? Yeah, like Frank Reynolds actually has like a pretty nice life. He's got infinite money. He's got a lot of stuff. So, like, if he's in hell, why would he have these nice things? Um, I would like to pause it. Mm -hmm. Get it? Like, pause it? Like, I said pause it. Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> that's fucking stupid. Edit that out. Anyways, I would like to pause it that uh, Frank Reynolds, in the moment where they all... Like, I, I don't remember exactly how I got here, but like imagine imagine for a second that it was in the plans whoever's plans it was in someone's plans for the gang to all die at the same time mac dennis charlie d hmm. frank wasn't supposed to be there he showed up out of nowhere i think that frank after perishing made some sort of deal with the devil so that he so that he could become like an overseer of the afterlives of his children and these two strangers like that his job is almost to keep them in one place in a way this is this yeah. is a little weird but i remember there are some other pieces cuz like the rest of season 2 is almost like setting this up like what is the dynamic between frank and the rest of these other characters um um yeah so like like why yeah that was that was just one thing that i'd like to that i'd like to pause it yeah. as a possibility any one of them could be the real one who's in control or who knows they're in yeah. hell but i'd like to pause it that in that blackness in that in between that we don't get to see frank makes some sort of deal with the devil to ensure the afterlife that is the rest of the show i would say it's not Frank, it's Charlie. Okay. Because Charlie is off on the wayside, like he's on the side of the road, not yeah. not yep, directly yep. hit. Mm -hmm. You could say that the car turned while it was like on the collision path. You and know? here's where we are getting into like the John F. Kennedy shit, which I love. Because like in rewatching that clip, yeah, if you watch it closely, and if you watch them in the hospital. It, like, Charlie doesn't have any new injuries. Yeah. He just has the injuries he had, the two casts on his leg that he already had. So was Charlie even in the impact at all? Yeah. Did Charlie ever die? There's a bit in um, The Gang Makes a Clip Show that um, where, if you've seen the episode, it ends with, ch with the gang in the bar on their phones, and then we see ch another Charlie opening the door, peeking in, and yeah. then going back out, is that the real Charlie? And the and the gang is actually just with a fake Charlie for the entirety of their time in hell? I don't really know. And but... also, mm -hmm. this might this is this might ruffle your feathers. Um, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> instead if Charlie is the one that's like made the deal with the devil, instead of making a deal with the devil, I think he would be distraught that his friends have died. Mm -hmm. in front of him mm -hmm. like to the point because charlie's a fragile man 
True. And he, although he was pissed off at Frank at the end, or like right before they get yeah. hit by a car, mm-hmm. I still think that he, it could have triggered a funny like break, like a, a psychotic break. So now he is imagining the rest of the show. And it's not hell, it's just Charlie's imagination. And that's why in the episode where they're in the convenience store that's getting robbed, his imagination in that episode is an animated sequence. Huh. Because it's like the it's 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 like like inception community. Have you watched community? Yes. It's like how Abed's show has a show in it. Like Abed has a he- a show in his head, and then the Abed in that show has a show in his head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like Inception, where that like the extra layer loses quality. Feathers. The extra layer yeah, loses quality, <laughs> but like the first layer is fine. Okay. What about this? You know how like if you watch an episode of Rick and Morty. Mm-hmm. Unless they mention it, technically, because there's infinite universes. Yeah, right. You could be watching Annie Rick and Annie Morty. Mm-hmm. I think what it might be is it might be that every episode of this show is this them in hell, or is this a uh, a a Charlie psychosis? Yeah, like manu- manufacturation. That's something that I'm gonna have to sit on. Because like, the hell thing would also make sense with that episode in the convenience mm-hmm. store, because it's just you know, the characters mm-hmm. being the characters. <laughs> but yeah. you know, it is a like. I was like, hmm. And if we're talking, and 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 we are, we are really like we like this episode that I said at the beginning. It's a fan podcast slash conspiracy <laughs> theory. We are building this out as we go. Currently what yeah. we're doing is throwing all the spaghetti we have at the wall, a massive fucking episode for me, a massive one, just because of the way it's shot. And also a little bit because I'm pissed. The episode after it isn't in it anymore. Um, do you know off the top of your dome piece what season uh, the gang gets a new member? Yeah, oh, I, never mind, I found it. Uh, the, oh, mm, okay. It's season season six, episode eight, right? The gang gets a new member. Hmm. You're familiar? Uh, I mean, I've seen all the episodes. It's just, it's been yes. a while. The It ends... With the gang inviting Charlie back, offering him a ring. It's pretty classy, guys. Wish he gave me one of these a long time ago. Because I'm a janitor now. He got a job at a school. He's a janitor now. And it ends with Charlie walking away, polishing the floor. If Charlie... uh, They... uh, Especially because it's, like, kind of at the halfway point of the show. Mm-hmm. Like, to me, they're, like, in that moment where Charlie's like, no, guys, I don't need you. And he walks away. That was him getting out of hell. Yeah. Like, that was him, That was him like, escape. Not even escaping. Like, finding the way out. Like, just being fulfilled and working at a school. And yeah. then the next episode comes after that, and Mac does a bit of blackface, and then the kid does a bit of blackface, <laughs> and then Charlie comes back to the bar after losing his job as a janitor because he tries to take a student under one of his wings. But, 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 maybe that's a, a manufactured Charlie, some sort of mm. Charlie Kelly AI, Kelly, you know what I'm saying? Some sort of, some sort of Dr. <laughs> Charlie, I don't, I don't know. But anyways, I, that's also just because I, I love Charlie, and I want there to be a way out for him only, all all yeah. The rest of them belong in hell forever. <laughs> um, we'll get to it eventually, but mm-hmm. quick thoughts on yeah. the uh, musical episode, not the gang turns black, the one with the um, with the, the day man. Cometh. Yeah, the night man cometh. Thoughts on it? Like in in the eye of the thing, and we will get to that episode, and we'll oh, have more course, thoughts on it. One, yeah. I mean, in the in the fr- in the framing of our of our theory, hmm. 
because that could be a whole like section because that's like Charlie's whole thing. And like, so you're the whole part of the theory. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about how like that, like the the hidden story of that, too, you mean? Uh, not, not necessarily, necessarily. The, yeah, well no, not necessarily not hit the hidden story but that could contribute to it i'm saying yeah. like the whole thing with the with the um with the theory is like okay. these characters have like recurring problems and that's like their hell right or that's like yeah. the, the that's showcasing the hell that they're in or it's the frank paul Sontra's no exit their hell is each other too yeah right but Charlie's is the waitress. That's his yes. reoccurring thing. Yes. Um, Max, I forget what, or I, I, I'm not fully sure what Max would be. <laughs> Being gay. <laughs> <laughs> Being gay and Christian. But then he, he accepts that later. Yeah, yeah, he does grow in a way. with charlie and the waitress it there is a point of acceptance but then it flips on its head and so the mm -hmm. opposite is true where mm -hmm. he's just like annoyed yep. <laughs> annoyed by her yeah She's and so that's that's funny. the hell at that point yeah um yeah because like how far i oh, it's episode one we might as well i might yeah. as well roll out all the fucking shit so Another my another part of this thing that's in my brain is that these are people, right? And what we're what what is happening to them is a hell slash Truman show. Mm. I have a theory that these these people were scouted out on earth by that season one was prepared as a pitch for th this is my I, I didn't want to go i no i'm glad we're going this far <laughs> okay okay give me a minute season one of the show season one of the show was a pitch prepared for the devil for hell's first network television show and what the rest of the show is, is what demons are watching as entertainment. Mm. So, like, behind the scenes, there are producers and agents and, and set designers in hell. And everyone else in the show might be a demon or an actor or an angel. And, like, so what you say... So when you say, um, what is, um, uh, the Nightman Cometh... My answer to that is perfect television. Because that, like, that's what those people were chosen for. Like, the yeah. night Nightman Cometh is just the Nightman Cometh. One of the people in this torture simulation happened to write a musical and wanted their friends to star in it. So one of the demons, Artemis, was just like, okay, I'll make it happen. I'll put it together. I'll, tran I'll transcribe it. I'll translate it. And put on a production... And then, and everybody in hell ate it up because it's great television. Go watch The Nightman Cometh because uh, okay. it's really good. I heard an interesting thing about that episode. Have you ever heard of Avenue Q? Sorry, I, I, I'm derailing it. Fuck. I, a I little don't... little trivia anecdote. Yeah. Tri Avenue Q is a musical. It's like um, Adult Swim, Sesame Street. It's mm. It's actually a really fucking good musical. Like, it's got puppets in it and also some humans, but like... It's 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 a really good musical, but I heard a anecdote from Lin Manuel Miranda on the Always Sunny podcast where he was like, the guy who wrote Avenue Q watched Nightman Cometh every day as he was writing, <laughs> and that's that's crazy. Anyways, Let's fucking go. I don't just think they're in hell. I also think they're in hell and in the entertainment industry. <laughs> yeah, you mentioned um, Artemis being a demon mm -hmm. in the theory. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah. And one of my... Okay. Would Cricket be a demon oh. off the bat? And, or would he be a demon later on? Fucking shit. We have to do, like... like 
We have to get to Cricket. Yeah, we have to get there. Because that's the other thing. It's like, <laughs> look at a Cricket's tail. That's his episode of the show. Yeah, like, right? Like, we need to do, like, we need to do a Cricket spinoff. <laughs> 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 so, like, like, like how Cricket fits into the, how they're, like, this is another huge thing. And, like, uh, uh, and, like, yeah, this is another huge thing. How does their pasts play mm. into all of this, right? Because yeah. we've got like bits and pieces and anecdotes like names and places and events like fucking um not marine ponderosa that's one she comes back though that's a bigger one i was trying to think nikki potnik uh, uh, like while they're in season one on earth we hear the name nikki potnik and then nikki potnik comes back in the high school reunion episode so, but 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 when we get our, f and this is one that i'm excited about for the hell theory and also just because i fucking yeah. love the episode the gang buys a roller rink. Ooh. We get a genuine flashback episode. How manufactured is that? Is it all based on truth? Is it all put together? We've got the interesting and also fucking hilarious thing of them all playing them younger selves. We aren't even talking about that episode, but fuck, it makes me laugh every time. The bit where Charlie's trying to sell the guy weed and there's a fucking like 15 year old in the car and Charlie's like fumbling with his hands. He's like, sorry, I didn't expect you guys to be so much older than me. It's so fucking funny. It's so funny and seamless too. Oh. Like they didn't even try. It's crazy. Holy fuck. Oh, oh, I got scared for a second and then I got less scared. I just looked at my audacity and it's been an hour, but that includes the watching yeah. the episode. We, so we should wrap it up soon, though. We should. Yes. Um, so, um, but yeah, this is the this is the theory. This is the podcast. Yeah. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, first inaugural episode. And, and if you've up. been watching It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and you've got any theories of your own deposit, make sure to dial the number you see on screen right now. Uh, a toll-free a toll free text line. 104-599-SUNNY spelt wrong. That's 104-999-SUNNY spelt wrong. <laughs> <laughs> How it's spelled wrong? We, we're yeah, not gonna tell you. Figure it out. Yeah, nuts. Nuts. <laughs> yeah. Is it with oh one N? With an E? Uh, you figure it out. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um. So yeah. To, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And I think then that's we'll, it. We'll figure out like yeah. I think that's it. That's all. And then maybe we'll we'll maybe we'll find an outro as we go. But uh. Uh, st uh, 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 yeah, do yeah, dollar number. Cool. Or Schleisner Cat, or Schleisner Cat, or Schleisner Cat.